Welcome back, everyone. This is another episode for the battle to end Alzheimer's. I'm following along with Dr. Sanjeev's personal journey to sharing information and his uh, his own experience in dealing with Alzheimer's, well, preventing Alzheimer's. Exactly, well, preventing. Yes. And so today we're going to be exploring ketones and Alzheimer's. Um, and Sanjeev, looks like there's a lot of information you can share regarding the importance of ketones in the relationship to Alzheimer's. Yeah, so we kind of, you know, we did all the research, put it up here. We're going to try to go through it. Okay. Um, and anybody who's interested, we can send a screenshot of, of the whole of the whole screen and put yes. it up there. But um, let's just first start with what are ketones. Last week I did do a little video about uh, just the basics of ketones, but today I thought let's go in more detail yes. about how it's useful for brain health. Okay. And uh, so just um, review here. Ketones are an alternative energy source. So basically uh, your body normally relies on glucose or sugar mm -hmm. to fuel all the cells. Okay. But in times of starvation, excessive exercise, not eating enough calories, your body can switch over to use fat for fuel. So this whole, you know, why are people doing ketosis? That the body will then will take fat, break it down, and make ketone bodies. Okay, and that's use because that for fuel. The, the sugar the, they've already used the sugar. Now they got to find another source. There's just not enough sugar around. And okay. So what you know, uh, and it's especially important for brains. Just imagine that. The brain's only 2% of the body weight of the body, but uses 20% of the body's energy needs. So wow. imagine that if if for some reason there's not enough energy to go to the brain, you would die. Like You cannot right. afford to, right. to, to have the brain with, go without energy. That That's so, why when people lack oxygen, like immediately their brain gets impacted. And imagine, okay. like it's a different story from like your muscles going without energy. It might just hurt and you'll be okay. But if your brain goes without energy, you're going to fall down right, <laughs> right. <laughs> it's so, game over it's so, game over so it's amazing that the bodies that created this way that brain cells love ketones like it's not an issue for them to take up ketones and they function very well using ketones as a fuel okay so this whole piece it's an alternative energy source here uh, for brain metabolism um, compared to glucose yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, like I was saying, so it's an alternative energy fuel for brain metabolism, and the body produces ketone bodies, uh, and you can, you know, the body will produce these ketone bodies. There's three of them called BHB, so beta hydroxybutyrate. Okay. Acetoacetate is the second one, and acetone is the third one. So these are three types of ketones that the body produces, and then people can actually also. This is the cool thing is that you can actually buy these like. Ketone. See? This one I'm, I'm using is KE1, but again, there's many of them, many ketones out there, and we'll do another episode just about exogenous ketones. But you can sip these ketones, and it's like it actually puts you into a keto a state a, a of ketosis. ketosis. Yes, exactly. So because you're putting ketones, which normally only happen when you're in starvation fasting. mode or yeah. fasting mode, exactly. this tricks. Well, I mean, it tells your body you've got ketones in your body, so your body starts doing what it's supposed to do exactly okay yeah and uh, again but if you have so glucose you go, around okay it will use glucose preferentially okay but it does it does help like if if you're like fasting and you take some exogenous ketones it'll help with that uh, headache you might get or that you know mm. craving for food because your brain is getting fuel anyways right so there's not that issue about about that you're not having that issue so you know how um a protein is a protein and a, and a a uh, hormone is a hormone. Mm -hmm. Is ketone its own class of, yes. of thing? It's its own type of molecule. It's a okay. It's yeah. a type of it's, molecule. It, okay. It's not. I would say it's, it's it's probably maybe it's within the fat range. I'm not exactly sure. 100 percent sure where it falls in those three categories, but um, but it's its, it's own, own thing. It's yeah, its own it's, it's produced product. usually it's after acid. fasting. Yeah, okay, got it. A fatty acid. Um, so the supplements come in two different types, and again, we should probably do a separate talk on this. But uh, this is a ketone salt mixture and uh, ketone salts were the kind of the first uh, way of taking ketones but they're not as effective as taking esters which if you buy an ester product they kind of taste like gasoline they're really strong but Ooh. they're quite effective to get you into ketones because they're much stronger okay and then mct oils you might be hearing i've of heard of that that they're medium change triglyceride um, fatty acids that basically break down to ketones so that's another way. That's why people say take, you know, coconut oil and, you know. If, uh, like, if, like if you're in natural ketosis, they tell you to take coconut oil? No, no. I'm just saying lots of foods have these MCTs okay. and they 
they claim health benefits, okay. that's because they break these things break down to ketones. Oh, okay, got yeah, it. You know, they're okay, not, they're not being stored in the same way. That type of fat. So let's move on. Uh, so because now we 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 understand there's some types of benefits to potential ketones, uh, people are using it for potential treatments. Okay. And and uh, interesting thing is that from beta hydroxybutyrate to go to acetyl CoA, which is uh, the precursor to making this ATP, ATP is the energy source for that the cells produce for to power the to power the mitochondria. Um, they uh, this step is much quicker by using ketones. There's only like three steps to get from ketones to ATP, whereas getting from glucose to ATP is like ten steps. So it's much more efficient. So it's like an accelerator. It's a definitely it seems like it's an easier way to get the energy out. Of okay. a molecule. And that energy is um, like you'll physically you'll feel that impact as in like real vibrancy. Some people or... feel like some people feel increased clarity and sure. some people do feel energ energetic. It, again, there are some studies looking at ketones for athletes, it might be improving performance. So again, let's let's we'll do that on another yeah, day. But, sure. but there is some this is now thinking is that you know the therapeutic ketosis has health benefits and they could and so let's move on to, sure. to the brain so what we understand what we understand is that in a lot of brain diseases including Alzheimer's the problem is that glucose there's a problem with the cells taking up glucose in Alzheimer's patients and many yeah okay Alzheimer's and a number of other brain diseases okay so there's something called the GLUT receptor okay this is the receptor that sits on the cells uh, in uh, in the brain that allows the uh, glucose to come in. Okay. And in pro in in diseases where there's a problem with the glute receptor, we see the brain has, suffers and and a disease can result. Um, we also see that in in um, in uh, people who have brain injuries, mm -hmm. they have problems with taking up glucose into their brain as well. There's a period of time after a brain injury where the cell is unable to take up glucose. And and glucose, of course, is energy it's that energy. the brain needs to function. It's function. So if you're not get if it's not getting its glucose, then mm -hmm. it's not going to function. Exactly. It's similar to like brain requiring oxygen. Exactly. So it's yeah, the it's same thing. Source. It's yeah. an energy source. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So it's very important that. So what we understand is that in a number of brain conditions, there's a problem with glucose getting into the cells. And that is also happening in Alzheimer's. Mm, okay. It seems to be that there's a problem with glucose metabolism uh, in Alzheimer's. There's something about that that is, there seems to be some problem. And that's where you're seeing those symptoms, the brain fog, forgetting memory. It could be, uh, like what probably is happening here is that uh, the decrease in energy, it's, a, it's like an energy deficit, if you want to call yeah. it. Yeah. Okay, so like not, not getting energy. enough, yeah. So then, then the the cells cannot function, and you know potentially will will yeah. will die or degenerate or whatever. So I think then that causes the symptoms of Alzheimer's. But it's, it's if you start thinking of Alzheimer's as an energy problem. Oh, I got it. It's yeah, an energy problem. You can't get enough energy in. Then I've never ketones, heard it referred that way. Yeah, so ketones could be a very interesting way to address that because you're basically going around it. You're going right. around that problem. Now. So it so it sounds like a ketone will uh, bypass the glucose and go to the brain. Yeah, it doesn't need the same. It doesn't have that same problem of getting into ah. the brain. Ah, and it's so what you're easy. what what you're saying is, if you've got the ketones, mm -hmm. who cares about glucose? Exactly. Yeah, you can't always be. Yeah, in, in, sure. In ketones, but, but that's I mean, a good. It's definitely. A, that's uh, a good discovery. It's, it's definitely a very interesting. And so what they did was they found that in people have who are taking ketones, there's an effect on uh, less seizures, okay. Okay, so that's why it's being used in like seizure disorders. Um, they have found improvements in, in uh, cognitive. cognitive function, motor performance, again, and uh, Alzheimer's disease, traumatic brain injury, stroke. So any type of brain illness, probably a good idea to come and take and have some time being in ketosis because it's gonna help your brain recover. Right, and so would that mean like, um a physician like yourself could even recommend fasting as one of those options. I think that's what I would suggest. Yeah, Again, like rather than, I mean, you can speed it up and help it, mm -hmm. but in terms of diet, mm -hmm. 
um, eating to stimulate ketosis or cause ketosis through fasting is would be a regimen. I think it's a regimen. Yeah. I'd like to go and look at the research on sure. that. But for sure. It's not going to hurt. It's not going to hurt. Yeah, it's and, not going to hurt. And, you know, it's, it's probably good to reduce carbs. And that's why they call Alzheimer's type 3 diabetes. Oh, I did just, not know that. Just so you know. Because there is something about the sugar issue. There's a problem with sugar. Uh, so that's a clear relationship. Yeah, they know seems, that yeah. there's a problem with the brain yeah, taking up sugar. Taking up sugar. Yeah. Okay. So uh, they did. Um, so look what they've seen here. So ketosis is sh shown to um, reduce the inf uh, excitability of the neurons, uh, reducing inflammation, and there's some imp uh, evidence that the that there's improved recall, verbal fluency, attention, and task switching. So. Um, you know, definitely ketones seem to be having some improvement there. And we already know that Alzheimer's is a 20-25% reduction in metabolism. And and I think as we mentioned before, there's amyloid, amyloid beta yeah. plaques and this neurofibrillatory uh, tangles, tangles of tau proteins. That's, that's yeah. what we see. And two studies here I just want to quickly chat about. Uh, the study with rats where they found that giving BHB, beta-hydroxybutyrate, uh, was found to decrease inflammation in those um, in those uh, rats that had the ApoE, um, and it increased concentrations of citrate and alpha ketoglutarate, which are two important precursors of uh, neurotransmitters. Yeah, because this this actually says on the advertising performance enhancing drink. Yeah, <laughs> like that's what I'm saying. They're using it definitely. For take athletes. that before bed, guys. <laughs> And then the, the last study here, this is actually in humans, and they took an, uh, basically something like this. It's called AC1202 Axana. Uh, you can look that up on yep. the internet. Um, it's a supplement you can buy that shows it increases blood ketone levels. And uh, the people who took it had increase in verbal memory processing speed uh, in mild and mo who had a mild and moderate uh, Alzheimer's dementia. So this is really cool. This is the potential now. Yes. You know, treatment. This is something we should be probably recommending people who have mild or moderate Alzheimer's to take Exxon. At least that is proven. In that it's study. actually proven. Yeah, and I should I'll open up, maybe look at that study and yeah. report on it next time. But we'll do that. Yeah, yeah, we'll do that next time. because. It, and by the way, if, you, if this is the first time that you are watching a video and it happened to be in your feed on Alzheimer's, Everything that we had talked about is in our previous videos. We'll put the links there. Yes. We have talked about the APOE. We've talked about yeah. the amyloid proteins. I'm getting smarter and smarter every week. <laughs> I'm learning too. Uh, next week, this hosted by Carmelia. <laughs> no, I will always need Sanjeev. Um, that's amazing. Um, and where? what else uh, do we need to know about keto ketones? Oh, I actually wanted to say, uh -huh. when you talked about mental clarity, a lot of my friends who do fast or d did a three-day fast, mm -hmm. They're, they said, like, by day three, they felt more alert, more energized, and their work, they could even, they had the energy for exercise. Yeah, you, you, you think exactly you don't, you think you need that's... food, but you actually don't. <laughs> well, you need food eventually. Yeah. You can't keep on starving forever. Yeah. But, but those periods of fasting, they say that there's an evolutionary advantage. It's like the second wind. They yeah, got a second yeah. wind. Imagine that Hunter was there, had, couldn't find food for days. You, the, it would make sense that they would become more clear. So they can go and find a prey nice. to catch if they were so if they were sleepy right. like after eating like that's Got why it. people get sleepy after eating because you know there's no they should just go get a nap and let the yeah. food digest <laughs> but not when they're starving yeah they should exactly. be out there <laughs> trying to catch their next meal exactly anyway so that's that's my thinking on it and that's a lot of people think um so let's uh let's get back to them i guess with some more information we're learning yes. as you're learning that's what this whole thing is about is let's learn together Absolutely. This is a rapidly changing space and so much new stuff is happening all the time. Amazing. So if you enjoyed this, please subscribe. Uh, leave your comments. Uh, you can check out everything in the links below, including how you can get your hands on adding ketones to your diet to help improve brain health. Until then, we'll see you next week. All right. Take care.